Hello and welcome to episode 8 of Illustrator for Noobs and today we're going to talk about colour and composition. Um, when we first did this we were talking about you know the use of um, harmonious colours and things but sometimes you get really stuck and you don't know which ones to do especially if it's on a particular theme and maybe you're not very familiar with it and you know it depends on what your what project you're doing so there's something that's on Illustrator that is actually available on on the web as well but um, as a little extension on Illustrator, it just makes our lives so much nicer and funner, funner. Um, go to Window, go to Extensions, Cooler, Cooler, because colour is cooler with Cooler, Cooler. Um, you can do all sorts of searches on this, and it's live, so it's connected to the internet, but basically this is a little extension that gives you a little extra tool. Um, with this, like I just did a search earlier for Sky, so it's come up with Sky, and then you've got various, you can go through so many pages of things that basically within the community, um, they've uploaded all these different color palettes. Um, you can do all sorts, you can do like, you know, quite often I end up doing, I recently did something on 80s retro, and I, even though I should still remember the 80s, but some part of me wants to forget it, but you can see 80s, yes. Um, and then it's what you can do, let's say for example if you were early, like, oh I want to use Neo um, 80s, you can click on that, there's a little arrow, click on that, add to swatches palette, oh, lo and behold, there it is, yay, and there you go, it's really really handy, you can just upload them, put them in there, really really, it's so handy, I cannot tell you, um, even if you're a gamer, okay, you want to do a Minecraft thumbnail for yourself, Minecraft, mine if I can spell it, yeah. craft, um, let's say grass, so do a little search, there you go, Minecraft grass, and pages and pages of it, um, Call of Duty, okay, Call of Duty, let's have a look, look, all these different, some of them probably based on camo, some of them on, but you see you've got something where somebody has already come up with really nice colours for you to use. So don't forget, cooler, very handy. I think what I'll do is um, I'll probably do a separate video just on cooler because on the actual website it's unbelievable how cool it is and they have an app as well, yay! I've been really having so much fun with the app. But anyway, enough of cooler, we shall move on. Right, composition. When it comes to composition, the one thing I really think, apart from certain cases where you've got an icon and you have to put something in the middle, generally speaking, try to avoid putting things slap bang in the middle. Um, there's a phrase in the creative community, um, it's not called dead center for nothing. So in other words, you put it in the center, it dies. Um, You've probably, I've, well, there's my rule of thirds. I just did this quickly so you can see. You know when you're, um, you've probably got camera apps and it's got this little grid thing. It's not just there to make sure that things line up. It's actually there because it's a pre-made rule of thirds. So anything that, your main points that are on these lines are generally much more pleasing to the eye. If you're doing a sunset picture, nice sea, nice sky, beautiful, and you put the horizon in the middle, it's, sorry, don't, please don't. If the sea is beautiful, put the sea line along here. If the sky is beautiful, put the sky, the horizon along here. Please don't shove it in the center. Honestly, have a go. You'll see next time. Um, if you're watching a film even, you'll notice they'll always put somebody's face on the right when they're looking. The eyes are always on that third line. Have a look. Anything you look at that's properly, like, good quality, um, you'll see that it follows the rule of thirds. And in this case, we're following the rule of thirds as well. So the name, I didn't put the name slap bang in the middle. There. No, I put it on the top right, and it balances out where I've put all the cogs. 
along roughly, I mean it doesn't have to be exactly on that line, but roughly on the third. So let's just go on to this one, the one we were doing. So with the cogs, I think what I might do with this one is reduce the transparency first of all. So you go to transparency there and then I'll just drop it to say 50. Yeah, that's better. It was a bit too in your face. Um, and that's another way where you can change colour as well, by just changing the transparency a little bit. So it just I just wanted to give it a bit of a glow, really. Um, so now we can start putting our cogs together um, and just play around with it. I know that I wanted this one over here a little bit because we're going to be putting the name, aren't we? And then this one probably down over here. I'm not necessarily looking to make it exactly like the previous um, design that we did. But just to, yeah, I'm going to move that from dead center as well. But you can see just by moving things around a little bit. Oh, it keeps moving that around here. I'm going to lock it. You, I'm not going to have you. There you go. Um, you can see when you put things along on the third, it really looks that much better. It makes it far more interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm going to finish it off and I shall see you next week when we're going to talk about some other fun stuff. They'll start doing text and everything. So thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments below. I really, really welcome good discussion about it. And, you know, if need be, I can do a separate episode for that. But until next time, Thank you for watching. Peace and love. Bye.